Well, hello, money makers. Today, we're going to discuss how to take your AI generated images and turn them into some really cool animated videos like these. And after doing a ton of research on this topic, I found a handful of channels blowing up on YouTube creating this particular type of animated Bible stories. So with the niche research out of the way, let's jump into ChatGPT to begin the process of creating our animated video. First, we need our script for the narration of the video. So my first prompt here will be, I want to create a short animated video about the overall theme of the New Testament. Can you help me script out the narration, please? Now, this is obviously just a rough script for demonstration, but you can easily go back and forth with GPT here, tweaking this outline to your liking, refining and adding your own personal touches. Then once you have your script complete, you can go ahead and ask GPT to give you a detailed series of prompts that can be used to generate images for this outline. And I want three prompts for each scene. One is a close up, one is a mid range view, and one is an ultra wide shot. And I need all the images to be generated in a 16 by nine aspect ratio with a vibrant 3D Pixar animated style and a cinematic effect. So this is gonna give you a list of ready to go prompts that you can either use right here in DALI or in your AI art generator of choice. So let me copy this first prompt and pop it right back here into GPT and simply click enter. No command necessary. And look at this. The bot knows exactly what I need and begins producing the image. I love this workflow here in GPT's paid version. From story outline to image generation, all on the same platform while the bot maintains the understanding of what we're trying to accomplish. So yeah, you would proceed this way, copying your prompts and generating your images. And once you have enough images downloaded for all your scenes, you're ready to move on to the animation process. And after testing many AI text to video generators such as Moon Valley, Pixiverse, Genmo, Pika Labs, and more, I've achieved the best results using Runway ML and their Motion Brush tool. That being said, unfortunately, I've run out of regenerations with Runway ML, and I wanted to show you guys how to do this for free. So for the purpose of this video, I'll be demonstrating using Pixiverse. Once you're here, you can just click create and then you're going to want to use the image to video function. So I'll select this. Then under the add image tab, I'll select upload file and import my first image. And as you can see, this app's interface is super simple. The only options you have are to give a prompt, regenerate the seed number and adjust the motion strength. And for the most part, I leave the prompt box blank and let the AI determine what to move in the image. And I simply adjust the motion strength. This generally does an excellent job at animating your images. And once you're happy with your animation, you'll also want to upscale it as this will greatly enhance the overall quality of your final video. And don't worry, I am going to show you a free method for getting rid of this watermark. Now let me quickly show you an example of when I would use a prompt. Say you have a close up image like this and you want your character to smile or laugh or maybe look like they're talking. In this case, I would use a simple command like man smiles or talks. Now these generations do take some time, but to speed things up here, you can generate up to four images at once. By deleting your image and importing the next, adjusting your settings and generating. Then after you have all your images upscaled, you want to walk through and begin to download them from first to last in the order of your story, as this will help speed up the rest of the process. Okay, now that we have our animation saved, we're ready to get rid of this watermark. I'll be using my phone Mark Go to accomplish this, and you can either import your images one by one and adjust the masking tool for each, or you can speed things up a bit by importing all your images into CapCut, adding them to the timeline, then exporting them as one video. Now once you have your entire video uploaded to the app, you can adjust the masking tool to fit one time. Just go to the manual removal, and after you drag the box to cover the watermark, then you want to drag the end of this yellow box to cover the entire timeline. And unfortunately, this is a paid tool, so it won't let you export. But to get around this, simply screen record your video as it plays after clicking remove watermark. Now this screen recording is almost ready to be used for your final edit. But first, I would highly recommend using CapCut's free browser version of their editor to upscale this video. So here in the online version of CapCut, you want to click the magic tools tab from the toolbar on the left. And for anyone unfamiliar with this version of CapCut, I would highly recommend checking out this suite of AI powered tools. For this demonstration, I'll be using the Video Upscaler. So once your video is imported, just click Upscale, and again, this is going to take some time to generate. When it's done, you can click Export and scroll down to where you can download your video. This is 100% free and greatly enhances the quality of your footage. Alright, so now we're ready to create our voiceover. For this, I'm going to be utilizing a free AI-assisted video creation app that you might not have heard of called Augie. Now I'm not going to go into everything this tool does, but basically you can create videos from uploaded material. You can record your own voiceover if you'd like to narrate your video yourself. You can do what we're going to do, which is text the video. And you can also use the prompt feature to have the AI generate a script. The reason I use this app is not for the video, but for the high quality AI voices. So here under the text tab, you want to paste the narration script for your video. Then under the drop down arrow, you can preview your voices. For this video, I'm going with Josh, Africa, male, old, deep. 
But yeah, there's a bunch of really clean AI voices here that you can use free of charge. And after you've chosen your voice, just click next and you can ignore the keyword command for the video and click create. After your video is done generating, just click on the tab and you'll get this pop-up that will take you into their editor. Here you can preview the footage as well as edit with these tools, but again, I'm just after the voiceover and prefer to do my editing in CapCut's desktop version. So let's listen to a short preview and then head to CapCut for the final edit. In the vast expanse of time and creation unfolds a story of love, redemption and hope. A narrative that has shaped history and touched countless lives. Quickly, if you've enjoyed this video so far, please smash that like button so that I know you're finding true value in the content. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of the video. Alright, so let's bring this video to life. Here in CapCut, you can select a new project, then import your video created with Augie, as well as your upscaled animation footage. Then go ahead and add Augie's video containing the voiceover to the timeline. Right-click, then extract audio. Now you can delete this video footage and drag and drop your animation video onto the timeline. And in this case, you can see that my video footage isn't quite long enough, so an easy fix here is to click on your footage, then go to the toolbar at the top and select Speed, and drag these little white handles until your video matches the length of your voiceover. So at this point, you already have a decent video, but if you take a look at a video from this leading competitor's channel... The first four seals in the Book of Revelation introduce the iconic Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, you see that they have greatly enhanced the vibe and overall quality of their video simply by adding background music. And if you look at this other channel's video... A child named Jesus was born to Mary, a simple maiden, and Joseph, a humble carpenter. You see that they chose to use sound effects instead of background music to enhance the viewing experience of their video. So at this point you have lots of options. You could basically drop some background music and call it happy, or you can go all out using the full capabilities of this editor, adding transitions, sound effects, and visual effects until you have a full on masterpiece. And you can get copyright free music from YouTube's audio library or from a service like Upbeat, which is actually a very inexpensive option, and I'll leave a link in the description if you'd like to try it out. So let me go ahead and speed up time a bit to quickly edit this video into something special. Okay, after some time editing, this is the final product. In the vast expanse of time and creation unfolds a story of love, redemption and hope. A narrative that has shaped history and touched countless lives. This is the story of the New Testament, a journey from prophecy to fulfillment, from teachings to sacrifice, and from death to eternal life. In the stillness of a Bethlehem night, a prophecy finds fulfillment. A child is born, Jesus, not in grandeur but in humility, destined to be the Savior. His birth ignites a new beginning in the relationship between God and humanity, a beacon of hope. Walking the dusty roads of Galilee and Judea, Jesus of Nazareth, a teacher like no other, speaks of love, mercy and forgiveness. Through parables rich in wisdom, he reveals the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, inviting all to embrace a life of grace and truth. In a profound act of love and sacrifice, Jesus, betrayed and forsaken, endures the agony of the cross. Bearing humanity's sins, he offers himself as the perfect sacrifice, a bridge between God and man, promising redemption. Defeating the grip of death, Jesus rises from the tomb, a testament to his divine authority and the fulfillment of his promise. His resurrection stands as a beacon of eternal hope, assuring us of life beyond death. He ascends to heaven, leaving the Holy Spirit as a guide and comforter for his followers. Inspired by the Holy Spirit, the apostles and early believers form communities of faith. United in love and purpose, they share the message of Jesus Christ, transcending boundaries, laying the foundation for a movement that would grow beyond their wildest dreams. As the New Testament narrative draws to a close, it leaves us with a promise, Jesus will return. This assurance fuels the hope and perseverance of believers through the ages, inspiring them to live by his teachings and spread the message of love and salvation. From a humble manger to the far reaches of time and space, the story of Jesus Christ and his message endures. A story of sacrifice, redemption and unending love, it continues to guide, inspire and give hope to millions around the world, a testament to the enduring power of faith. Pretty good if I do say so myself. Hopefully this demonstrates how simple this process can be. You don't need to be a graphic designer or a professional video editor to take your AI generated images and create some really outstanding animated videos. And if you'd like to learn more about the process of creating a YouTube channel and uploading videos like these, you can watch this video here. Thanks everybody, stay safe and be blessed.